Good, everybody. I'm just sitting here. The reason I'm letting the song go long is that I'm sitting here reading something I can't even believe, but I'm just skimming it. i got to read the whole thing before. Let's see. This is insane. Judge Junk's Viacom's, Viacom's YouTube lawsuit. Google won an immense legal victory when a federal judge dismissed a $1 billion lawsuit filed by Viacom against its YouTube video sharing site. They lost in summary judgment, which means before the lawyers even get it, like, literally, it's just based on the early writings of the lawyers. Yeah, he read it and said, this isn't even valid. You know about this? I don't know about this ruling, but that's what summary judgment is. As copyright litigation goes, this is a big deal. Stanton held that YouTube compiled with relevant provisions of the digital millennium that require Internet services to remove infringing copies of copyrighted content. These on these notice and take down provisions. <sighs> this is something I got to read off the air. Yeah, if I come and argue that you. Hey, John, did you read this? Do you understand it? I just don't have time to read it now. I'll read it later. Not that that'll help. My reading comprehension <laughs> can you, scores. Can you tell us what you read? Yeah. What does this mean? What do you t did you really read the whole thing? Are you an expert on this? I wouldn't say I'm expert on it because it's very confusing to begin with. But how could a judge? in summary judgment, dismiss a $1 billion lawsuit that that it seems to me is an obvious legal question that deserves the merit of the courtroom. In other words, how, how, could, how could you not hear arguments on this? Well, you don't know what they wrote. And sometimes, because of the way they wrote up their uh, complaint, it's invalid. Yeah, but you got to figure Viacom's got some... Decent lawyers. I think Google's got may have some better ones. Right. Well, but it certainly looks like it from this uh, piece of paper I'm holding. My understanding is what the judge was saying is they simply follow the rules, like YouTube did what they were supposed to do, and the problems within the rules themselves. But what are the rules? They're saying that they're they're acting as a, a web host, and therefore they don't need to do this or this based on this Digital Millennium Copyright Act. So I can set up any website, take everyone else's material. Stick it on there and make a fortune. No. Only only Google can do that. No, what you can do is be a host. <laughs> well, yeah, but you know there's advertising on YouTube. You got that, right? Somebody owns it. You're a host. And you're saying See, it's perfectly... Is, this is the murkiness of Internet law. This well, is all new law. Let's get some clarification. No, judge dismisses it in sum summary judgment. That's surprising. Come on. It? This, this this smells fishy to me. And it's set, the precedent it sets is, is pretty devastating when you think about it. But yeah, all YouTube is doing is hosting the content. They're not they creating the content. They don't they They're, put on, yeah. And with other channels, some like... Uh, networks and they pay to have youtube channels so those are okay because that content is i mean licensed. this is gonna this this opens up the door to say okay robin creates a piece of music uh decides to sell it uh youtube posts it up there for free and suddenly she has no record sales because everyone can get it for free uh you mean to tell me that's not a legal question that should be answered in court and and discussed and mulled over in a copyright uh, situation this doesn't make any sense the only thing that like robin was saying is they wrote one hell of an argument to the point where the judge was like they're following the wow. rules it's it doesn't have merit which well, is might be something to the fact that um the stuff that YouTube is broadcasting from CBS isn't like the first time it was broadcast. It's broadcast on CBS, and then people post it. It just shows me what horseshit the law is, because I've been involved in like frivolous cases that people file, and the judge, you know, sees my name on it and goes, "Okay, let's let's take this to court." I and mean, this this is an argument that I can't imagine can be can can be resolved in summary judgment. I mean, wow, it's a major, major discussion and and certainly complicated. Wow. Yeah, but <clears throat> the Internet created a whole new landscape. Right. Which is right, uh, you know, at the very beginning, of course, it was the Wild West. There was no law at all. There's money being made on advertising off of other people's content. It's something that has to be figured out in a courtroom. I they mean, can say, no, it's not money being made on the content. Sure they it is. They can say it's money being made based on the traffic they have. But they don't have anything to do with the content. Yeah, but I'm saying they can make that argument. I don't know that a judge would go along with it in summary judgment. I mean, why do they have the traffic in the first place? Right. Because of the content. Right. I mean, it's a little more complicated. Summary judgment, when a, when a, when a, a case is... 
decided in summary judgment means it is so clear it is and it is so frivolous and so ridiculous that they can just not even waste the court's or time. there is no law that the, right. their complaint is based on. Yeah, so uh, I bet you this goes up uh, another rung in the uh, appeals Well, certainly process. Viacom will refile. You'd think so. Jason says it's already going to the appellate court. Oh, it is. So then summary judgment means I'm ready for summer, and this is just too much fucking hassle. <laughs> That's what I'm it thinking. It was 90 degrees today. Yeah. All right, thanks, Johnny Boy. Boy, that's something, man. Isn't that something? Well, this is uh, the clear go-ahead from this judge, anyway, that uh, anybody out there wants to uh, basically steal shit, go right ahead. Well, again, it, it might have to do with the rebroadcast as opposed to broadcast. If they stole a show um, before CBS ever got to air it, that might be a whole different thing. Well, hey, isn't that the... And, and based on their their revenue model, when you have a record, the only way you can make money on it is to sell it so if somebody takes away your right to sell it that's a whole different thing well you think i have a right to sell uh, tv shows from on demand no i don't have a, i don't have a right to t create a tv show and sell it through on demand is that no 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 you have a right oh, to i have a right to do that yes so do you think they have a right to uh take that stuff that i sell and just stick it on there for free what happens is they don't take anything and stick it on there. People who no, are, I know, I, I get, I get, they, I get the, the nuance. That's the murkiness of the law. Yeah, I get the nuance, but that needs to be decided in a courtroom. It's a little too, it's a little too easy to say in summary judgment. Uh, there's nothing here to discuss. That's what the judge is saying. You got to be kidding me. You and I could discuss this for four hours. Yeah, but there needs to be a law created. There may be a hole where that's, you know, it's the, the quote unquote loophole. Right. So if. Uh, so that's so some loophole. That's uh, that's beautiful. See the crux. That's I why the internet well, has created the the whole la um, landscape of internet law. There ha there was no law. <laughs> All right, John's coming in because we're reading more about this. It gets more interesting. He's going to come in and give you a quick explanation. Or something. Okay. I don't want to spend the whole morning on this, but I find it incredible what uh, this judge has figured out yeah one other thing later in that article which i just picked up it said that it could have been worse for viacom because they were in negotiations to actually buy youtube before google did yeah and as that was going on and then the lawsuit went on they were uploading their own content so viacom according to this article in the washington post was putting their content on youtube so they can later turn around and say hey you've got our content and we're gonna there you go. So that's, I mean, super shady. That was shady. a setup. Well, let me tell you something. Uh, that that I don't know anything about, but even that should be looked at. That's why I'm saying for this to be decided in summary judgment is very unusual to me. And 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 not only that, this is a big question. This is a uh, something that is plaguing the music business. This idea of sharing that you can put anything out there. The movie 